foot hit sticks. Hey everybody, I'm Logan and this is Heirloom Builders. Welcome back. Today's video is all about this one tool and how it can save you a ton of time and ensure that your concrete foundation holds up for hundreds of years. If you saw our last video, you know what rebar is and how it functions to hold your house together by making your concrete foundation resistant to cracking, crumbling, and even breaking apart. If the rebar is embedded in the right spot and held together in the right shape, it'll work like it's supposed to, reinforcing your concrete and making it last forever. If it's not held together tightly, the force of the concrete can actually push the rebar out of position and into a place where it's no use at all. If concrete pushes the unsupported rebar to the bottom of the footing, it won't be embedded in the concrete and it can't do anything to hold the concrete together over time, which is bad news for your house. If your foundation cracks, it can let water in under your home and start to decompose not only the foundation, but the entire home pretty rapidly. If these horizontal bars come loose and get thrown sideways, the concrete is likely to crack in the other direction and bust apart. So we use steel rebar to hold it all together. You can use a spool of wire and cut 8 inch lengths and twist them around the rebar by hand to hold everything together. But that takes forever. So we use these preformed wire loop ties that come in a big bundle. They're available at your local concrete supplier and even big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot. Here's where the rebar twister comes in to save the day. This little thing costs about eight bucks and it'll save you countless hours of backbreaking labor tying together the steel rebar in your footings, foundation walls, and concrete slab floors. Find it at your local hardware store and it's also linked in the description below. To use it, simply bend a wire tie around two pieces of rebar, line up the two loops on the end, and hook them with your wire twister. Then give eight to 10 spins until the two bars are held snugly together. Try not to over tighten or the wire will snap and you'll have to start all over again. You'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. Remember, the idea is to hold the rebar together snugly so it doesn't move or fall apart. It can be a little loose. The ridges in the rebar will actually lock together to keep the rebars from moving too much. In this footing, we've tied the rebar to chairs to make sure that they don't fall off and they're tied to overlapping sections of rebar together to serve as one continuous overall piece. We also tied the horizontal ladder bars together on the horizontal runs every two feet to keep the footing held together in the opposite direction. We also tied our vertical bars to the ladder bars, which will serve to hold the foundation wall securely to the concrete footing. You can see how strong these little ties are. They're even holding up from falling right now. Sometimes it just takes a few extra ties, and you can really see how many ties we end up using, even just on this little footing here. There are a ton of them, so this twister really will save you hours of effort. It's really worth every penny. For a few bucks more, you can upgrade and save yourself even more time by using this ingenious wire twister. It's basically a long hook with a spiral shank. So when you pull up on the handle, the hook spins around, twisting the wire six times for every pull. It's even easier than the spinner. This one's also linked in the video description down below. Time is money, folks. And this simple little tool can save you a bunch of it and help keep your foundation strong for many, many years. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.